Hello, I'm Jim Loftus, Product Manager for the FC901 and Legacy Systems for Siemens Building Technologies. Our how-to video series will walk you through the basic functions for operating and controlling your Service Pro 50-point panel. The FC901 is a compact but powerful standalone fire control panel. It features advanced addressable fire detection, keypad and offline programming, notification circuits, a 7x26 character backlit LCD display, and event history retention capability. Its typical configuration includes a modular power supply, an SLC circuit, two notification appliance circuits, a DACT, and four system status relays, along with a USB programming port. All components of the FC901 are contained in this single enclosure. The FC901 has one electronic main board that encompasses the system display, CPU, as well as all the circuits and field wiring. To begin, let's describe the operating unit and go over its main components. First, we have the LCD display. To the left of it, we have the alarm indicator light. Below that, we have six LED indicators. The first is the power on green LED, showing that power is applied to the panel. Next, we have the trouble, ground fault, silenced, supervisory, and audible on LEDs. Then we have four control buttons, reset, acknowledge, unsilence, and silence. On the right side of the operating unit, we have the menu button. Right below that, we have the alphanumeric keypad, the OK, and cancel buttons. And lastly, we have the four-way navigation button. We're going to step through several typical events on how to operate your panel, but keep in mind that only authorized personnel are allowed to access system controls. To acknowledge the alarm, press the acknowledge button. The local buzzer will be silenced and the alarm LED will change from on flashing to on steady. You'll see as you acknowledge an event, the explanation mark changes to a V to the left of the description. To silence the notification appliances after evacuation, where permitted, press the alarm silence button. The notification appliances will be silenced and the LED indications will change from flashing to continuous. You will now see that the alarm silenced LED will be lit. Some things to keep in mind are, do not reset the panel until the alarm has been cleared. And alarm silenced inhibit, if set, prevents the alarm from being silenced for a predetermined amount of time. Now to reset the panel after alarm. When the alarm condition is corrected, return the panel to normal standby operation by pressing the reset button. Troubles are indicated by the panel buzzer sounding, the trouble LED flashing, and the description of the trouble on the LCD. To acknowledge the trouble, press the acknowledge button. The trouble LED turns on steady. When the trouble condition has cleared, you may need to reset the panel to restore to a normal standby condition. Please note, devices in trouble condition may not report a fire alarm. Viewing events on the system. Events are displayed in the system by event priority. Unacknowledged alarm, unacknowledged supervisory, unacknowledged trouble. Acknowledged alarm, acknowledged supervisory, acknowledged trouble. Status and test. These are followed by event occurrence, latest to oldest event, in a circular list. According to your system settings, some events might not be displayed on the remote display. The FC901 panel has three access levels. Level 1, which is shown on the top line in front of the time, is the default user. Level 2, which should be reserved for authorized technical users, provides control functions such as disable and enabling of devices, city tie, DACs, status relays, detector applications, quick test, and setting the time and date. Level 3, which is reserved for authorized technicians, encompasses all level 2 rights along with editing device labels and system labels and changing passwords. We hope this video will help your team to effectively operate your Siemens system. Please feel free to reach out to us with your future fire and life safety needs. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.